What's going on YouTube? This is Shoke and I have a pretty damn interesting video for you today. Very interesting video. Because um Epic has pretty much came out and supported what I said in one of my previous videos. And if you guys don't know what video I'm talking about, uh, go check out my next generation consoles will be weak video. The link of it will be in the description. And basically the point I was making in that video was that you guys need to lower your expectations for next generation graphics because they're not going to be this huge, you know, graphical leap that you guys are expecting. The same leap between the PS2 and the PS3 is not going to be the same leap between the PS3 and the PS4. That was pretty much the point I was making. Development costs would be too high. 99% developers, they're not ready for that kind of leap. That'll make a bunch of studios close down. Sony can't afford an ultra-powerful console right now, and Microsoft has no incentive to. That's pretty much the point I was making. You know, all three next-generation consoles are going to be kind of like last generation. While a couple of them might be weaker or stronger than the other, ultimately, all, all three consoles will be able to, you know, run the same multiplats. And that's pretty much the point I was making in that video. Now, Epic has came out today, and they have pretty much you know, confirm the things that I've been saying. And, and it's funny because I told you so. <laughs> you know, it's just, it's just, it's just so funny because you guys don't think you don't apply yourselves. But let's, let's get on with what uh, Epic actually said. Now, this was in an interview uh, from Wired.com where they're pretty much talking about the Unreal 4 engine and the demo they had at GDC and things of that nature. And I have a quote here from Cliff uh, Blazinski. And this is in regards to the next generation consoles, uh, specifically the PS4 and the 720, because he says Microsoft and Sony, not Nintendo. But he says, there is a huge responsibility on the shoulders of our engine team in our studio to drag this industry into the next generation, said Gizwar designer, director Cliff Bozinski. It is up to Epic, pay attention to this, and Tom Sweeney in particular, pay attention, to motivate Sony and Microsoft not to phone in on what these next consoles are going to be. Pay close attention to this part. It needs to be a quantum leap. No, he said it needs to be a quantum leap, which pretty much confirms it isn't a quantum leap. That's exactly what it's not right now. You guys see the point I'm making? That's pretty much what I said in that video. And I'm, I'm glad they came out and said this because this pretty much just confirms everything that I've been saying. I told you guys that compared to your expectations, Sony and Microsoft are going to lowball the 720 and the PS4. Now, like I said in my last video, you know, I'm not saying it's only going to be slightly more powerful than the uh, PS3 and 360. Like I said, there's going to be a moderate leap. We're going to see a modest graphical leap, just not a crazy one. And this pretty much confirms what I've been saying. And uh, Tim Sweeney, he added, we're much more in sync with the console makers than any other developer is. That means we can give detailed recommendations with a complete understanding of what's going to be commercially possible. Notice he said commercially possible within a budget. You see the point I'm making? That goes along exactly what I was saying in my last video. A lot of developers can't afford powerful hardware, and Sony sure as hell can't afford to make an ultra-powerful console right now due to all their losses. You no, know, so it's funny how both of these quotes tie in with exactly what I was saying. So you know, pretty much, I know my shit. <laughs> you know, I know what I'm talking about. You know, it's, and the funny thing is, is how you guys are expecting, you know, this isn't about Wii U versus PS4 and 720. This isn't about that, guys. Like I said, the main point I'm making in this video is that you guys need to lower your expectations for the uh, 720 and the PS4. But I'm just going to put this out there. I think it's funny how you guys are expecting these consoles to be crazy powerful when Epic comes out and actually complains about them. And yet they did not complain about the Wii U's power. Last E3, uh, Mark Rain actually came out and said, it opens up some of the doors that weren't open before on current generation consoles because it's going to be a powerful 
box. A powerful box. I know some of you, you're going to try to spin it. So, oh, oh well, they're, they're talking about the controller and what the contro controller to do. Yeah, that makes perfect sense because you definitely use the term powerful when you're talking about a controller, right? And no, they weren't talking about the controller because uh, the sentences before that quote are talking about the Unreal Engine technology. So they were talking about specs, not the controller. And another quote from Mark Rain, he said that the Wii U is going to shock us this year and that he was basically talking about how he likes the, uh, the Wii U. He said, I think the Wii U is going to be a, a big eye opener for people. So I think it's funny how, you know, Epic is excited, enthusiastic for the Wii U. And yet they are begging Sony and Microsoft to bump up the specs for the PS4 and the 720. And I know a lot of you are going to take what I just said as fanboyism, but it is, it is what it is, people. There's not a damn thing in this video you can refute. Now, like I said, this isn't, this isn't confirming that the Wii U is more powerful than the 720 and the PS4. This is confirming that all three consoles are going to be closely specced. That's what this is confirming. And I know some of you are going to say, well, you know, based off of Epic, I know some Nintendo fans are going to say, well, not Nintendo fans, excuse me, uh, some Nintendo haters are going to say, well, well how, how could Epic say that? You know, how could they be excited for the Wii U and not the PS4 and 720 specs? Now, I'm about to talk about rumors here. But these rumors come from IGN. I know IGN isn't the best place for reviews. But one thing you can't say about IGN is that they have been proven to have credible sources in the past before. For instance, um, you know, back before the Wii U was revealed, IGN was like one of the first places to say that, um, you know, uh, the Wii U was going to have a controller with a screen in it. And lo and behold, you know, the Wii U has a, a screen in its controller. And not only that, you know, uh, IGN got specific. They said, our sources say it's going to have a 6.2-in resistive touchscreen. And then the Wii U was revealed, it's exactly 6.2 inches, and it is a resistive touchscreen. So you see what I'm saying? So IGN sources in the past have been proven, you know, to know their shit. So I'm actually going to report these uh, next generation, these rumor next generation specs. Here, here's here's um, the 720's uh, rumor specs, which a couple of you made videos on. I'm sure you guys know what's up with this. But basically, IGN came out and said that their sources were saying that the Wii, uh, excuse me, the PS4 is going to use a uh, equivalent to a 6670 GPU. Which, for those of you who may not be on the PC scene, for those of you who don't know what that is, that is a pretty damn weak uh, GPU if you're talking about PC gaming. That would be fine for a console because, you know, consoles don't require, you know, as powerful specs as a PC does. But that is still a pretty damn weak card compared to uh, today's technology. Now, onto the, uh, onto the PS4. The PS4 specs are rumored to be pretty much essentially exactly the same. The PS4's rumored GPU is a 7670. And while this is a 7000 series GPU, this GPU is actually a rebranded, you know, it's pretty much, you know, a, um, I, it's pretty much just an upgraded 6670, but for the most part, it has the exact same specs of a 6670 card. You know, it's, it's pretty much just a rebranded, revived 6670 card. So basically, the PS4 and the 720, uh, according to IGN's rumors, they're pretty much going to be toe-to-toe -to -toe GPU wise. Now, they didn't report on the 720's uh, CPU, but I'm about to get to the PS4 CPU and the Wii U CPU in a sec. Now, I took this from a, you know, I'm sure you guys have seen Dark Cloud's video on it and Hump Master Flex's video on it. But, you know, uh, when the 720's, this rumor of the 720 came out, a lot of people looked at the rumor GPU that IGN said about the Wii U, which was a 4850 slash 4870. You know, both because, you know, everybody has pretty much rumored either one of those cards. So, you know, it's funny how you guys are expecting the Wii U to be this Wii console and the PS4 and 720 are actually going to blow them out the water. When actually, according to IGN's rumors, and yes, this is a rumor, but again, this is coming from sources that have been proven to be credible in the past. This is IGN. This is the biggest gaming website on the Internet. I think IGN would have, you know, the most credible sources out of any, you know, journalism, you know, gaming site than anybody else because, you know, they're the biggest. 
But anyways, on to comparing the GPUs. I'm sure you guys have seen this before. I pulled this from Dark Cloud's video. Uh, on the left right here, we have the rumored 4870 that is going to be within the Wii U. Uh, it's also been rumored to have a 4850, but either way, 4850 is still a lot stronger than 6670. But on the right, we also have we have we have here a 6670 slash 7670 because they're essentially the same card. Now look down, look down at the bottom because that's pretty much where all the spec stuff is. While the 6670 and 7670 have a faster core clock and shader clock, you know, by 50 megahertz, that really doesn't mean much when you look at the bottom. Look at the memory clock for the 4870. 1800 megahertz compared to 900 megahertz of the 6670 that is rumored to be within the PS4 and the 720. Look at the memory bandwidth, 115.2 gigabytes per second compared to 28.8 gigabytes per second on the, um, on the 6670. That blows that out the water. Look at the flops performance, 1200 G flops compared to 768 G flops on the 6670. Pixel fill rate, 12,000 on the 6670, 6,400. So the 4870 rumored to be within the Wii U actually has almost twice the pixel fill rate, uh, the megapixels per second that the 6670 has. Texture fill rate, the Wii U has, the rumored Wii U GPU has over 10K megapixels per second performance that the 6670 has. So again, I'm not saying this is factual. I'm saying that these rumored specs actually fall in line with what Epic has been saying and what uh, with, what with I've been saying. You see what I'm saying? I know I said that a lot. I'm sorry, but do you see what I am saying, people? I know what I'm talking about, and I'm glad Epic came out and said this because it pretty much confirms what I was talking about. Now, there's more factors involved, like the um, processor. And while the uh, 720's processor hasn't been rumored at IGN at all, uh, the only uh, rumor was the 16-core CPU, which we all know, you know, is obviously bullshit. That's technically impossible to put in a small box. But um, I, I'm pulling this information from Review Tech USA's video. Uh, here we have the Power 7 CPU and the AMD A8 uh, CPU that is rumored to be within the PS4. And now the AMD A8's processor is clocked at 2.9 and the power, a power 7 processor can range from anywhere from 2.4 to 4.25 although it has been heavily rumored that the power 7 WPU, uh, I said WPU, <laughs> uh, the power 7 GPU, uh, CPU within the Wii U, there's too many U's, is uh, going to be clocked at 3.2 so we can assume it's going to be higher than 2.9 but as you can see the AMD A8 processor does have more L1 cache and does have more uh, L2 cache per core, you know, than the uh, Power 7 processor has. But you get down to the L3 cache, and the AMD A8 processor actually doesn't have any L3 cache, while the uh, Power 7 processor has 4 MB cache per core, totaling a total of 16 MB per core of L3 cache, which definitely makes up for the lower cache, uh, you know, values in the L1 and L2 cache. And also, side note, uh, this CPU for the PS4 does come with an integrated uh, GPU, but it only adds 400 shared units, so even with this added uh, you know, GPU assistance, it still doesn't top out the 4850 or 4870 inside the Wii U. So, according to IGN's rumors, and of course, I'm sure for a lot of you, this is the first time you've seen this. Because whenever it's negative news about the PS4 and 720, you won't see that many people reporting on it. But when it's negative news about the Wii U, you will. You can bet on it that people are going to report about it. So yeah, basically according to IGN's reports, the Wii U CPU-wise and GPU-wise is actually more powerful than the PS4. Now, of course, I'm not saying this is official. I'm not saying I believe it. I'm just reporting the rumor. I'm reporting a credible source. The Wii U is not going to be as weak as you guys are expecting it to be. And the PS4 and the 720 aren't going to be as strong as you guys are expecting it to be. All three next generation consoles are going to be closely specced. And they're going to run the same multi-plats 
Period. End of discussion. End discussion. And while the CPU and the GPU inside the Wii U does seem more powerful than the PS4 and the 720, you know, things are subject to change. And also there's more factors involved, like how much RAM the systems are going to have and dedicated video RAM and embedded RAM, you know, things of that nature. There's other things, you know, involved, but, you know, you know based off of raw numbers, the rumored specs for the Wii U actually put the Wii U stronger than the PS4. Uh, GPU wise stronger than the 720 but we don't know about the 720's CPU yet so we can't say for sure but you guys get the point I dragged this video on long enough I hope I opened a lot of your eyes you know out there like because a lot of you were blind to all this but thank you epic thank you and thank you IGN sources but that's it for this video I'll see you fools later